so now we can start uh, discussing your interview experience uh, mm -hmm. like the interview process uh, which happened during your pixel selection so mm -hmm. as you have mentioned that five students those mm -hmm. who appeared for the test they were shortlisted for the interview means they got a chance to get interviewed yeah. yes so now we uh, so if you could explain or, or if you could discuss in detail like the the, the number of rounds or everything regarding the interview if, if you could tell us okay uh, so uh, there were two rounds uh, one was technical round and the other one was pure hr round typical hr round uh, so uh, in technical uh, round it lasted for 40 45 minutes and uh, uh, the thing is uh, the hr was really uh, you know supportive I, I like like it was more of a conversation that i had uh, with her rather than a proper interview uh, like a very professional interview it was kind of a, a good conversation that i had on uh, the projects and the internship so uh, the discussion started with uh, uh, half of the discussion was mainly focused on my internship and uh, my mtp project itself uh, so since both were related to my core uh, uh, profile itself uh, uh, my MTP was too relevant for their task actually. So a lot of time went in uh, that it is, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, apart from this, once we had a discussion uh, over these topics, uh, there was a kind of a fire up round. Uh, she just wanted to, uh, it was basically to check uh, uh, how much basic knowledge I have in my own code profile, code domain. So th those questions were uh, like the basic question that you really need to know to be a geospatial data science a scientist. So it was a fire up round uh, related, of, related to machine learning and uh, uh, the core questions. Like a few of the questions were like, uh, uh, like uh, while doing an image interpretation like if there's a dark patch uh, how will you classify it uh, if it is not water but what, what does it represent or if there's a haze in the satellite image uh, then what you can do uh, to correct those images uh, these were a few questions that i remember um, yeah once these fire up rounds uh, were there uh, yeah i think that is the whole process that went on discussions and then this fire up round yeah. So there were two rounds primarily, technical round and, and HR round. And the so, HR round, yeah. So this uh, rapid round was uh, the HR round? It was or? in technical, technical itself. In technical itself, the, yeah. there was this rapid fire. Yes, okay, yes. Okay. So as you have mentioned that in technical round, they were mainly focusing on your MTP and your internship. And then yeah. there was this rapid round where they were checking your core knowledge. Like you have yeah. mentioned yes. one image example you have mentioned. Yeah. Yeah. So those yeah. things they were asking and it lasted yeah. for 40, 45 minutes. Yeah. That's yeah. The yeah. of the technical yeah. round. Yeah. So, in resume, did they focus also on your uh, uh, POR or, or, or any other aspect did they discuss in your uh, resume? Uh, not exactly. Uh, in the technical round, no. Not exactly. The POR was not discussed. Or the course projects mainly? Like, did they talk about the course projects? Uh, yes. Uh, like, uh, apart from MTP and uh, internship, a uh, few of the core projects that were there, we had a just short discussions, like what was the problem statement and uh, what problems I faced during those projects. Uh, yeah, just short discussions, not very lengthy or in-depth dis discussions regarding those projects. Uh, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. And then there was this HR round. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That was a, a pure HR round just to see how well you fit with the team. So uh, uh, questions like uh, how can, uh, uh, like uh, what are five other uses of stapler uh, apart from stapling or uh, like uh, 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 what is your dream vacation or something like that some questions hr questions like that okay so, so the first question like what are the other five uses of a stapler what what did you mention uh, i said uh, like you can play catch uh, oh. it can be uh, used as paperweight something something like that mm, okay. yeah yeah, it's an interesting um, question in hr yeah. right? a, a few of the students uh, i know one of my batchmate he answered he can decorate the room with the stapler somehow so okay those kind of questions uh yeah uh, just again, to see yeah. yeah and then they asked our dream vacation or dream place like uh, what would be the first uh, place out of india that you would like to go so okay. that was there apart from that what was the last gift that you gave to a friend uh and if there were three items that you would uh, want to take to an island what what those items will be um yeah the questions like this okay okay so i think they are, these are somewhat very unique questions uh -huh. uh, yeah. 
yeah as compared to other hr round these are very unique questions yeah yeah because the hr was really uh, nice and supportive like uh, i i'm telling you this this round was also like kind of a conversation having a, a good conversation about uh, you know likings dislikings like she was asking about my hobbies what i would like to do and those things so yeah because uh, you know pixel is a, a startup as i said and there there are young people young team and like uh, you can just match the vibe and uh, like have a good conversation so it was uh, that kind of interview yes yes yeah yeah yeah, yeah I, i get it so did you prepare for these questions before or uh, you answer no, no, uh, this this is what i'll say like this is my uh, tip that i'd like to give like while giving an interview uh, try, uh, what i felt with pixel interview was if you are honest with your answers whether it is technical if you don't know try to tell that this is what i know hr will help you out uh, uh, to you know dig in and get the uh, you know exact point hr will help out just don't say anything or try to be smart over, don't try to over smart the interviewer uh, for these hr questions i was just honest i just gave the first answer that came out of my uh, you know of the top of my head so i think uh, if you can show that honesty to the interviewer they will consider you a better candidate than compared to any other candidate yes yeah yeah yes so any tricky question in this round like some thing which you feel that that, that was somewhat tricky at in hr round yeah oh, these questions were pretty tricky <laughs> <laughs> uh, nothing nothing uh, so, like these are fun questions nothing tricky it was not a burden kind of interview yeah. Yeah. yeah and any question on your academic gap like did they did they ask any question on mm, your academic no. gap no no uh, uh, not just this interview uh, any other interview that i gave i gave multiple interviews like in uh, apple and in hitachi as well uh, but uh, no where anyone asked me about the gap or anything okay 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 yeah yes yes sana so sana then uh, i think we have discussed your interview rounds like as you mentioned that there were two different rounds technical and hr round mm-hmm. and you have also given a brief uh, of the questions which were being asked in those rounds so we have covered those things so we can talk a bit about you know other uh, some uh, you know important aspects of the interview like uh, since you you were an interview coordinator so you have seen the offline placements i believe yeah, yeah, yeah. and this time you were uh, appearing for the online interviews yeah. so if, so if you have to compare something or if you yeah. have to some uh, give some advice like the things which one should focus or uh, pay attention to while yeah. appearing for online interview so any advice on uh, on those aspects um like uh, uh, of course offline interviews are uh, uh, you know much better because you know then it is easier to have a pen and paper and describe whatever you are uh, your thoughts are it's easier but uh, i'll say one good thing about online interviews is it's your or, or like you know it's your room you are comfortable there so that nervousness that uh, that's a bit reduced compared to the uh, you know offline scenario mm-hmm. so i was pretty comfortable while giving the online uh, uh, you know interviews just see uh, like i would say what i did uh, for preparing for my interview uh, uh, i used to uh, you know uh, open up the camera sit in my seat and you know try to converse with myself because that would help me see that, that how my body language is like mm-hmm. how am i uh, you know uh, how others are seeing me from that yeah. end so that will actually help uh, because you know sometimes we we are not that conscious like how we are sitting or what we are saying so that it really helped me i used to practice uh, uh, using that um, you know uh, going through my resume or in the introduction with my camera on so that i know how i am speaking so yeah that that will help uh, if you are if students are going for another online interview yes yeah so uh, sana we can talk a bit about the importance of C- uh, pior now because in mm-hmm. case of master student they are a bit uh, means they want to go for pior but they also want to know whether the pior will help uh, in my placements or in my career for that matter okay. so what is your take on this like whether pior helps in the placements or yeah 
yeah of course it helps uh, like uh, uh, see um, from a, a job uh, profile like since i was basically uh, uh, seeing for a technical profile so your uh, pure, pure will not help you in giving the technical answers but actually it will help you frame your answers because uh, when i used to communicate with hrs for my uh, you know placement works so that helped me uh, uh, you know get over my uh, hesitation to talk to strangers or how to frame my uh, sentences and how to speak up what points to keep what points not to keep so that helped me uh, giving answers while i was uh, uh, being interviewed so of course pos will help and uh, uh, if you are going for a uh, you know a consulting job or any uh, such job where you have to uh, uh, you know uh, communicate your ideas pos will definitely help so i don't think uh, like uh, uh, pg students should feel that conscious about not taking pos they should definitely go for it and actually it helped me uh, in other way also because i was uh, preparing for my placements as well uh, and handling the place uh, other placements as well so that helped me uh, make a balance between uh, you know my work and uh, my responsibilities so that helped yeah, yeah so i think pur helps you to uh, get means uh, find your improved version you yes. get to improve yourself yes. communication skills everything get to improve Mm-hmm. so i think that is a very good aspect of pua so mm-hmm. yeah and as you have mentioned that you also balance your academics and the placement uh, you know activities yeah. so i think that's the best part you learn management also uh, yes sana so that again another aspect of uh, you know very important aspect like cpi like how means how much cpi and like what, what is your take on this that cpi is really important or yeah or what uh to be honest you know i have seen like uh, i have worked as an interview coordinator and also as company coordinator and i have seen companies opting for students with very less cpi but we are that but, but they are really happy with the candidates they are getting so even though a student have a low cpi i don't think uh, like they should only focus that i don't have a good cpi so i won't be getting a good job uh, that's not the same here in it bombay of course it matters a uh, few of the companies do put uh, uh, you know cpi filtering so mm-hmm. it matters but it doesn't say that you won't be getting a good job companies will be happy to have you even though you have a, you have less cpi so yeah, yeah. yes so sana then i guess we have covered uh, you know uh, the things which we had planned actually only last uh, mm-hmm. a few informal things are remaining uh, one we can talk about you know uh, the, uh, the 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 companies like core versus non core which we often hear mm-hmm. during the masters like so in your department in case of your center of studies for resources in engineering mm-hmm. what are some core forms that uh, you guys appear for or you guys dream for actually like uh, uh, companies like honda hitachi nec walmart accenture like my seniors are placed in all these companies yeah. um, uh, 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 goldman sachs yes uh, um yeah uh, the, these are the uh, yeah uh, like uh, csre actually the thing is csre is a multidisciplinary branch so there are lots of uh, uh, you know options and fields that uh, students get can get job in so uh, uh, and we also hold a record of you know 100 percent placement from the last two years yes sana so the, uh, so uh, i guess then we have covered so before we wrap up one uh, second last thing in fact mm-hmm. uh, what is your advice for the students who are planning because uh, the gate results have been mm-hmm. announced so uh, students will be looking for getting admitted into csre right mm-hmm. so what is your advice for them those who are looking for admission into csre okay uh okay and this is the question that uh, usually we get like as seniors many people contact us like uh, can we take this branch or not yes. they are too afraid for this but the thing is i was a computer science graduate and i took this branch and the problem is uh, in india uh, these branches are not mainstream mostly computer science is the mainstream or electrical electronics these are mainstream but the thing is uh, like uh, uh, apart from india there are uh, in other countries there have been a lot of work going on this uh, in this department uh, in this course so i think students need to think outside the box and they can just take this course enjoy it and then they'll see it that there are a lot of research you know uh, remaining in this uh, uh, field and there it holds lots of potential so uh, many students ask like will it be okay to transition from computer science or electrical mm-hmm. i think it's totally okay uh, you are going to enjoy it like uh, 
ये सारी इट्स द लाइक यू नो आई एम रियली हैप्पी विद द डिपार्टमेंट द फैकल्टी इज रियली सपोर्टिंग एंड द थिंग इज यू विल गेट टू एक्सपेरिमेंट विद डिफरेंट थिंग्स इट्स मल्टी डिसिप्लिनरी एज आई टोल्ड यू सो यू गेट सैटेलाइट इमेजेस व्हिच आर इंटरेस्टिंग यू विल गेट मशीन लर्निंग डीप लर्निंग व्हिच इज इंटरेस्टिंग यू कैन डैबल इन सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट और देयर आर मल्टीपल प्रोजेक्ट्स ऑन आईओटी सो देयर आर मल्टीपल थिंग्स दैट यू कैन पुट टुगेदर इट्स ऑल अप टू यू Like if you are uh, thinking of joining uh, CSRE, I'll say go for it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Great. Yeah, it's true. Uh, my, means like uh, CSRE, as you have mentioned that that the faculties are they are quite supportive and that a vast amount of research is going on. So I think people should should and they are also taking these courses. So they will definitely start uh, you know joining this course and mm-hmm. they, it would be helpful for their career as well. yes so one last thing any advice for your your uh, you know up your uh, juniors like those who will be sitting for placements in the next placement season so any advice for them uh, yeah uh it's the usual advice that we gives you can start please start preparing from now but usually students uh, you know they leave it for end but i would say start gradually don't take too much in hand and try to do everything at once start if you start from now gradually you will build up those basic concepts that are being asked in the interviews so uh, uh, like uh, one thing that uh, i know is uh, coding is important okay uh, so i would say uh, like uh, uh, before the interviews the major part is uh, being able to crack the test for test mostly uh, coding questions are asked uh, uh, you know if you are not looking very much into software development have so have the basics of coding uh, uh, you know trees graphs stack queues all those things uh, try to prepare and uh, uh, pair good in coding part that is very mandatory uh, so uh, like uh, if you start from now uh, that will really help you out um, uh, apart from coding like whatever profile you are uh, uh, aiming for try to keep up with the new technologies that are happening and when you are uh, uh, interviewing for a company try to keep up the technologies that they are using the projects that they are working on uh, uh, so that that will help in impress the interviewer that you are uh, keeping up with the company uh, these are just few of the points <laughs> yeah yes and so i think this advice will be helpful for the students and i guess uh, the things which we have discussed that will also help the students to take some you know well informed decisions so that they can plan in advance so yeah so thank you very much thank you for taking our time yeah thank you very much thank you so much sudhakar for having me thank you so much